Fight Club was for sure one hell of a great movie. But was it a good video game? Did you even know there is a video game based on it? There is! And I'm not only gonna show it to you, but also explain what happens in the Fight Club PS2 game. If you like my work, you can support me via Patreon.com or Super Thanks here on YouTube. You will find a link to my Patreon in the description. Game starts with a man entering an underground fighting community. He sees a brutal, bare fist fight taking place in someone's basement. Then he learns the first rule of Fight Club. If it's your first time, you have to fight. Well, actually, it's rule 8, but it's the first one he learned. So, the newbie gets thrown into a circle and the player gets thrown into a gameplay. And that's actually pretty cool with no lame tutorials. It really feels like a fight club. So this guy name is Max, his first opponent is Ricky. And I guess bare chest and feet is the dress code for the event. Max wins the fight and a cutscene pops up. And I assure you, this video is not lagging. I guess it's rule 32. Don't waste your time for animation, just make a powerpoint presentation. Huh. Back to the story, Max asks Ricky if he is ok and this retired Wolverine stunt double approaches him and asks if he asked about Tyler, who is the main protagonist in the Fight Club movie played by Brad Pitt. Then he gets him outside and gets a bit aggressive, assuming he is a fat. But Max pushes him back and the fight breaks. Max tries to explain that he doesn't know the guy who told him about the Fight Club and now he really looks like a cop. Retired Wolverine and a blonde peewee start to whoop his ass, but he calls rule number 4. Only two guys in a fight. Smart one. So he gets to fight this Wolverine guy. He beats him and earns enough credit to buy him a beer. Meanwhile, on Paper Street 666, there's a fight in the back of the house. Mox shows up asking for Tyler. We also see a woman looking for Tyler and this blondie telling her that even if he knew where he was, he couldn't tell her. She gives him a middle finger and somehow this guy's hair color changes in between the slides, so there are only two explanations. This girl knows magic or this game was made by a bunch of lazy underpaid stoners. Blondie gets a bit angry and he tells Max to go suck a lemon and runs away. This fatso we all know from the film appears saying it's just a test. And yeah, for those of you who didn't see the film, he has a huge man boobs and Marcus is shocked by them. I mean, he can't stop staring. So Bob explains that he has a cancer and this is like a treatment side effect. Then he says to prove himself around here, he needs to fight. So Max kicks boobs, oh, sorry, Bob's ass, because apparently it's the only way to make friends around here. After the fight, Bob tells Max that he is a great fighter and Tyler will meet him when he comes back from Seattle with a shipment. Max travels to Seattle and while looking for Tyler, he overhears guys talking about Project Mayhem. This guy name is Lou and he soon spots Max and gets suspicious, so it ends, as always, with a fist fight. Max wins and Lou tells him that shipments are gone and Tyler is on his way to San Francisco. There he meets a local Fight Club unit and we already know the drill. First punch, then ask questions. He beats a guy called Mechanic and he tells him that Tyler is back in LA and he wants to meet him. Back in the house Max hears noises coming down from the basement. But turns out it's just Blondie, they're jealous about Max gaining some reputation here and there. This guy name is Angel Face and Max breaks him like a teenage relationship. Blondie gains respect for Max, Max asks for Project Mayhem and Blondie panics thinking Tyler is testing him. There's also this guy watching from the stairs like a little creep. He approaches Max and he's like, dude, where is so sniffy? And Max gets all emotional about how he was nothing before he joined Fight Club. His girlfriend left him and he wanted to shoot himself, but the bartender stopped him and told him about Fight Club and Tyler. Then the creep opens up a bit saying he was there from the beginning. But now since Tyler opens franchises like a goddamn McDonald's everywhere, he starts to lose his mind. Then he says he has a flight to catch and leaves. Next thing we know, Max is in Chicago where apparently a best place to run an underground illegal fighting club is right in the middle of a fucking airport. I guess 
no one notices bunch of purchased gym victims fighting few meters from the earth strip. Max beats Raymond and Raymond tells him to go to Miami and gives him an assignment there welcoming him to Project Mayhem. In Miami he meets the bartender who actually told him about the fight club in the first place. He tells Max this guy broke a promise he made to Tyler so he needs to be punished. Max is ordered to break his arm but he also breaks his face. Then he gets another assignment in Atlanta where he is supposed to show some newbies how to run a fight club. He kicks the local club leader and then lectures the rest about the rules of the fight club. Back in LA Max was promised to meet Taylor but he only meets Blondie. He still has this diva attitude so Max whoops his ass. Then he explains to Blondie it's not about who Tyler likes more, but it's about the project and everyone get excited like construction workers seeing a hot girl passing by. Again, 20 grown men dressed the same screaming project, project in the middle of the day in LA. It's not the best conspiracy I've ever seen, but I guess there's no rule in the fight club against that. At the corner of Jekyll and Hyde, Max spots a guy who claims Tyler is insane. This dude again starts going on about how Tyler is insane and kind of breaks the character acting like he had split personalities. Now Max sees what's going on but he still believes in the project. Tyler argues with Jack and Max decides to fight with him. Max wins but that makes Tyler go even more crazy. He pulls off a gun and tries to kill himself but his evil personality takes over and he punches the other one in the face. Then he's like, hey Max, I'm Tyler and he says he needs help on Franklin Street. After that we see Tyler standing in an empty building and Max meets him. He tells him that now you are my right hand. He gives him an RC controller telling to use it if the detonation fails. Max leaves and Tyler just stares at the city. And while Max meets with the other members he hears a gunfire upstairs. He gets back but turns out Tyler is there standing and laughing. When he turns around his face is covered in smoke and apparently he shoot himself in the cheek. Two other club members drug the woman we saw earlier and now I'm sure it's Marla played in the movie by Helena Bohan Carter. She calls Tyler a lunatic but she softens a bit when she sees his face. Tyler tells the rest to get downstairs. Max decides to use the RC controller as they planned and blows up the city center beginning Project Mayhem, which is, if you didn't see the movie, a revolution to bring a civilization to basics and start all over again. And that's how the game ends.